Hello everyone, welcome back to part 14 of Let's Play Dark Souls. I've uh, come back after I unfortunately fell off, which I swear on the success of my channel, I did not do that on purpose. Um, I completely forgot that I take a little step forward when I do that, and I was a little bit too close to the edge. Um, anyway, I just have to go back obviously to get my souls, and just to sort of show you guys how to get back. Um, you know, nothing too complicated, you're just gonna make your way up here and I'm gonna be brave and run because um, if you're lucky the boulders won't switch back to over here um, but if not you may want to take a second yeah so there's a mysterious invisible person that will move the lever to where you don't want it to be um, every time you move around through that fortress uh, it's not really known who is actually doing that but <laughs> um, you can't actually stop it happening until you move on up. Um, now there actually is something we can do about the boulders uh, long term, but uh, we are not going to actually do that yet. Instead we're uh, going to take the elevator back up once uh, it gets down here. Alrighty. And just like before, we're going to... that is really bloody. I just like noticed how bloody it is just now. Anyway, I guess that means a lot of people are falling victims to these traps. Um, Alright, now rambling. Uh, so up this way, we're going to find the room where we were before, and all you want to do is point it out of here. Now, we are not quite ready to move on up yet. Um, that door in the corner is where we really want to go next, but first we are going to drop down here, because we want that item. And we're going to watch out for this jerk. They go down real easy. We get the large silver proud knight. And if we go this way, we can find ourselves something cool. The black sorcerer set. Uh, this is actually what Griggs was wearing, and we get his sorcery that he was selling to Hush. Um, sort of like the ninja ma mage set, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, oh, and you do want to open this door. We were here before. This was the way to the elevator room. Um, so now we've got ourselves a nice little simple shortcut, which we're honestly probably not ever going to use again. <laughs> Um, but anyway, the black sorcerer set is kind of cool. There's some interesting lore there. Um, so where Griggs and Logan come from is like the Vinheim School of Wizardry, which is basically your um, budget Harry Potter. But um, there's actually a few Harry Potter references in Dark Souls. Let's just see if we can yeah, get the next step. Uh, so we're going to drop down this way. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, so Vinheim School of Magic. Um, they have sort of the, uh, the spy department or the secret ninja department, uh, assassin department, I don't know what exactly it's called, but they wear the black sorcerer set, and, um, you know, obviously they use sorceries like Hush, because they're trying to be on the down low, and they also use rings like this, the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Now this was a cool ring, I actually used this for a while on my first playthrough, um, but I don't think it's actually, like, super useful. <laughs> um, it makes you make no sound at all, it gives you these, like, bubbles on your feet, but as you'll notice too, um, our sword will make sound if we actually smack it into something, but our footsteps and rolls are completely quiet. Um, and this actually does let you sneak up on enemies to go for like backstabs and stuff. Definitely fitting for a more like ninja build, but we're going for the heavy knight build. We want them to know where we are. Um, and we are going to just drop down here, and that's going to put us back close to the start. Um, let me uh, let me cut back up to the um, to the boulder control room. Um, you guys have already seen how to get back up there. We're just going to make our way this way. So uh, see you there. Hello, and we're back. Um, that's like, what, the fourth or fifth time we've had to make our way back up here. Thankfully it's time for progress now. Um, so right here, uh, be careful, you just want to sort of spring the trap, let the arrows shoot, don't panic and run, just sort of trigger it, be patient, everything will be okay. Um, right here we get a nice little view of sunshine. Um, you can probably see a lot of messages of uh, praise the sun right here. Always uh, make sure to give them an upvote for good luck. Now here, just, you know, more of the same, swinging traps, I'm just gonna time it and try to not get hit. Um, so right here, uh, we have a few bad guys. Uh, we're gonna have this guy menacingly come, and I'm trying to avoid the stairs since there's one of the cobras up there. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. Right up the butt. Um, so yeah, we're gonna not mess with him just yet. Uh, over this way is gonna be another one. Let's see if I can parry. Yeah. Is he chasing me? 
or was that just in my imagination? I think it was. I don't think he'll chase you down the stairs. Um, we're gonna find some more large Titanite shards right there. Very handy. And if we go stairs now, we should be good. We'll just give him a one-two smack. Nice. And we're actually almost out of here. Um, oh yeah, be careful here. You wanna you wanna keep running. <laughs> Uh, one tip, by the way, with these axes, you can actually like safely run into them when like they're not swinging at you from the side. If that makes sense, like basically what I just did there. Like you can press into it, and then as soon as it's out of the way, your guy will just simply um, pass through them. So yeah, give him a kick, get some revenge there. Let him get sliced on the way down. <laughs> now I believe. Now we're not totally done with the fort. Like I said, at a later point. Oh, careful! I almost ran right down there. Um, it's, just, it's just a hole to kill you. <laughs> A lot of that in this fort. Uh, we're gonna go here, not fight the boss just yet, and we're gonna see. So that's that's the guy responsible for the um, boulders, by the way. Let's see if he's gonna. Yeah, he just sort of picks one up and puts it down. Uh, we can uh, we can go say hello to him later. But what we're gonna do first is run because there's a lot of scorch marks, as you can see. And finally, we find a bonfire. So let's go ahead and light it up, level up, and uh, move on with our lives. Let's get some more vitality, and let's see, I should, I should probably use this whole item, but probably not. It'll be fine. So uh, if you drop down here, it just takes you right here, and then you can walk your way back up. Now, I'm not going to drop down here just yet, because... We're eventually going to drop down there from above to get some treasure, and I'd rather be efficient. Um, so okay, so this first part here, you're going to kind of want to be quick, because up there, that guy is throwing big balls of fire at us, and you don't have to be, you don't exactly have to hurry, like, he's going to throw them where you were a few seconds ago. The problem is you basically just can't stand still. <laughs> um, so first we're going to do this little detour, we're going to fight another Baronic Knight here. We've seen this guy before at the Undead Parish, and he was a mini boss. And I think this guy is. Different. I don't know if this guy respawns. Uh, we can check out later, I guess. Uh, he might drop some Titanite or uh, one of his weapons. But if we go this way, we're gonna get to fight an interesting fella. Uh, so be careful! Don't just rush up because you'll have this guy up here shooting arrows at you and oh, I don't want to come too fast because he's using a yeah he's got like a special rapier which lets him do like this like rapid fire thrusting attack let's see if I can make him all right stop I can yeah see like he'll like sort of raise it and then he'll do two and there's another version where he does like yeah right there see like five attacks um, but yeah he goes down real easily um, nice armor though buddy uh, too bad <laughs> Let's see here. So yeah, we actually get this rapier when we kill him, which is uh, pretty neat. And uh, you'll be able to use the strong attacks to also do the um, poke, 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 poke kind of thing. So these these chests are not mimics. Um, you'll get a rare ring of sacrifice, which um, I'll explain in a bit. And then um, what you can always do is just give them a kick if you're, or a smack with your weapon if you're not sure. Uh, you won't break the treasure chest, so it's always a good idea to do that. So. Divine Blessing, that's basically a full heal. It'll, from Pokemon, where no matter what your status problem is, whether it's bleeding, toxic, poison, um, that blessing will take, do the trick. And as for that rare Ring of Sacrifice, it's just like a normal Ring of Sacrifice, which um, I believe I've explained and used earlier, except the rare Ring of Sacrifice will also cure you of a curse if you happen to be cursed. Now, <laughs> it seems oddly specific, but there's actually a specific scenario down the road where that's gonna come in handy. Um, so I will bring it up then, but that's all that we have in this direction, so let's continue our battle upwards. Now I do like this part of the game, um, sends fortress and onwards till the next milestone, because it's like a nice sort of, uh, I guess, opposite of what we did earlier, like before we were working our way down, down, down to Blight Town, um, yeah, and over here is a Balder Knight. I don't even know if this guy's defending anything, but we're just gonna... Oh man, he, he got me good. Um, the reason he did so much damage there, by the way, is because I was in the middle of an attack when he hit me. And so that essentially does like a counter. Um, 
as in more like a like a traditional like counter like you'd see in like you know boxing where as opposed to like you know just deflecting them with a parry it's more like you hit them as they're swinging at you that way you're hitting them with both your weight and their weight um and those kind of counters by the way only work with stabbing weapons um in dark souls so uh we're gonna we're actually gonna find a ring later on that's gonna give us a bonus to that where i can hopefully explain it a little better but essentially if you're using a stabbing weapon and you stab someone while they're uh, doing their own attack you do bonus damage as simple as that um so yeah now we actually could go fight the boss right now and we can actually even see it um right there it's a big menacing knight <laughs> um he'll be a he'll be a fun one to fight so before we do that though we have a few more things to take care of um first of which is going to be taking out the guy throwing the fire at us so it's another giant Oh, yep, and this is the tantrum attack I was talking about before. Oh, wow, he still got me. Um, anyway, I wish I could showcase it a little better, but once he's done, he's just going to lay down, and you can just smack him a whole bunch. Uh, if you hit him in the face, as if he were lined up a little better for it, you'll do bonus damage, but we're just going to... Oh, oh, we got these. Okay. <laughs> That's close. Um, I'm just going to take him out, because uh, now his fireballs, they won't be able to... Uh, he won't be throwing them down at you anymore. And in fact, I think if you just run up here and just break all these, he won't be able to do anything either. He'll just sort of stare down at you. Um, and he will be throwing them during the boss fight, so definitely take this out, take him out first. Or don't if you want the challenge. <laughs> I prefer not to do that though. Um, so anyway, if we go and sort of backtrack here, um, send him down. Now we do want to make a jump here. and. Let's see, I could jump here, why not? Do a little leap of faith, save maybe 10 seconds. Whee. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, this is the real leap of faith here. Um, we want to go left this way. Now, again, we want to sort of aim for that where it's a little more extended on the left there. Uh, but I always manage to mess it up. Oh, there we go, we got it. Awesome. So, in here, we are going to find this guy here. Who, by the way, if, you, if his feet look a little weird, he's actually floating... Yeah, he's not actually taller than you. The developers just wanted to raise him up to make him feel taller. But anyway, let's see what he has to say. Ah, oh, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, now they're undead, eh? I took on Sam's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. Uh, so yeah, he's a merchant, um, the Crestfallen merchant specifically. He's also depressed, like the guy at Firelink Shrine. Um, but his deal is basically, he was a chosen undead candidate, but at this point his spirit sort of broke, and rather than, you know, just get himself killed and go hollow, he's sort of just setting up shop in here. Um, and just, uh, all the things he's selling, by the way, are, um, He's got a lot of armor and some cool weapons. I think the the backstory is like these are all the this is all the equipment of the people who failed and died. So a little grim, but you know he'll go and take their stuff and sell them to you. This is where you can actually get Siegmeier's set. Interestingly enough, um, the man himself is still chugging along, so don't worry. This is not like his stuff that we're taking. Um, he does sell these stone plate rings, which will boost your defense against uh, some specific elements. Um, and then he gets usual arrows, and then he sells some cool weapons, the great sword, the great axe. The Baldur shield is a really cool shield. It's like a normal shield, but it's like a, a mix between a great shield and a, a normal shield. So, interesting shield for sure, but I'm not going to, you know, maybe I'll just pick it up. Maybe maybe we'll use it. I don't know. <laughs> um, he, this is also your first source of large Titanite shards that you can buy. So, you could just like not do any of the grinding back in Blight Town, like I mentioned, and just save some souls and buy them here. And then you can also buy black fire bombs and green blossoms. So, cool little merchant. Um, he's got some interesting things to say as well, too, I believe. There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. Alright, well, I guess he actually doesn't <laughs> have much more to say. Go along. Try and make something of yourself. But nothing will come of it. And I should know. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to be seeing much more of him. Honestly, like... There's going to be another merchant coming up in the next area who's going to sell the large titanite shards as well. So we don't have to come to him for those. Uh, and then none of his equipment we don't really need for now. 
so he's going to be a little lonely. But anyway, if we make our way all the way down here, right, um, we can find another cobra, and then just give him another smack. And right there, we're going to find the cage key. Um, that's going to let us go and free Big Head Logan. So it's also going to let us open up cages in general. Um, I'm going to open up a shortcut in a second here, which we would not have been able to without the key. Um, I didn't really like show it because who cares about a little you cannot pass message. <laughs> but um, I'm going to do that. And then um, you'll see that we pretty much just like unlock this area. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, where I want to drop down is right here. And if I do this, go back step and heal up. We're going to find another cool weapon. This is the sniper crossbow, which um, is basically a crossbow which is specialized long range. Um, I don't know how much actual sniping you're going to be able to do with it, but <laughs> it's a cool weapon, I guess. Um, so down here are those stairs that I was talking about before. That's the treasure we just picked up. So we just gotta take out these guys. We just make some really like painful sounding <laughs> screams, by the way. Um, we're gonna open this knot mimic and get ourselves the flamestone plate ring. So if we're in a fiery area, we might throw that on, but honestly our Havel and Wolf Ring combo is pretty like end game. <laughs> so most of the other rings we don't there's definitely other rings that are good, just in terms of like what I'm going for. It's pretty much the end game set we need. So uh, yeah, now we, we can sort of like waltz and take our time now that we're not um, having fire thrown at us, but I'm still gonna run because I don't want to waste too much time. Um, it's actually not that far of a walk up, um, but if I go this way, inside that room to the right I believe is what I want. And yeah, here. So these two cages right here. Um, if you go ahead and open one of them up, and I think you can no, you have to open up this one. Uh, if you open up this guy, and then you step inside, this is going to take us all the way down to the start of the fort. Right on this first bridge. And um, funnily enough, it'll put you right in front of this guy, and in order to get back up, you will have to step out, so <laughs> just be careful. And, right, and there he goes. He's actually fine. Wow, no damage. Alright, so that's awesome there, because that does open up the uh, shortcut, and um, yeah, that'll make it easier for you to get to Logan, which um, I'll go and meet you there right now. Hey, and we're back. Um, as you can see, the wall is still broken, but he's still lean leaning against it, so you know what, uh, we're not going to let the let that fly. You have to obey physics in this house, my friend. But we probably would have killed him anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Uh, so before we free him, let's go see what this item was. And it's actually going to be our first soul of a hero. Now, I believe that's the biggest soul item in the game. Uh, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> but let's uh, free the man himself and see what he has to say. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saved. And I'd love to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Alrighty, um, let's see, does he have anything else? Oh, hello. Don't mind me, go on ahead. I'll be alone later. Well, <laughs> I'll be just fine, young one. Uh, so yeah, like you said, he's an advanced wizard. He's uh, He's got plenty of magic <laughs> that'll keep him safe. And uh, yeah, we'll see more of him at Firelink Shrine. Uh, we're not we're not going to head back now. Uh, we'll be back there eventually. But for now, let's press on. We've, we freed him, so we're good. Um, so rather than go all the way back up again, let's go take the shortcut up. And let's go see if we can do something about uh, those boulders. And now that we freed him, okay, so you don't want to do what I'm about to do next until you free Big, Big Hat Logan, because <laughs> um, it's going to be your only way to actually get into that room is to use the boulders. Um, but a fun thing you can do, and this is entirely optional at this point, is we can go and get some revenge on this guy. If we uh, go and take a nice little running leap of faith here, we can actually make it over here. 
and he's not going to be too happy that we're intruding on him. And you know what? I actually kind of do feel bad now because I don't know if we even got hit by the boulders once. <laughs> and like the boulders, you know, helped us free Logan and, and even killed some enemies for us. So we're kind of actually being a bad guy here. But you know what? He will give us some stuff. So thank you, but it had to be done. And oh, we actually don't get a Titanite chunk from him. Wow. Uh, so yeah, at this point you can drop down and uh, sort of just hooray, like you're up here. <laughs> but there's not much to actually do. So I'm actually going to Homeward Bone back because uh, I do want to be human for this next fight. Because we do have someone to summon. Um, a very cool character at that. So let's go ahead and level up first. Uh, get a little bit more. I think 20 vitality will be good. Um, then we can start doing other things again. So let's reverse our hollowing. Uh, no need to kindle this bonfire. I don't think we're going to need that much Estus. So now that we're human, we're just going to go and make our way back up. One last time. And it should be all uphill from here. Alrighty, so... And again, another walk of, walk of shame from having to constantly drop off and pick up this, pick up that. All these items that I'm probably never going to use, but I just want to showcase to you guys. Oh, that guy actually respawns. I didn't know that. Okay, in that case, you can kill him whenever <laughs> you want, I guess. Um, that's actually good, though, because otherwise you can kind of break your game <laughs> if you don't free Logan first. Alright, so, as usual, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. I think I've went over this before. I'm going to say things that are going to end up not being true sometimes. If that is the case, you know, um, hopefully it wasn't something that caused you to waste a lot of time or anything. But feel free to complain in the comments. I always like discussion, good or bad. Okay, so uh, before we go in here, we're going to go this way. And, and here, if you were not human, this would just seem like a boring empty room, but we're going to get the summon black or not black iron, uh, just iron targets. <laughs> um, I believe his armor is like the black iron set or something like that, so that confused me. He's just iron Tarkus. Um, he's really cool. He's um, he's actually like the leader of those very unique knights, um, the big guys that we fought with the shield. Um, now he's, since we summon him, they make him a small guy, so it might seem weird that he's small, but you know, uh, that guy over there, that's one of his followers. Um, he's a lot bigger than him, but that's only because for in-game, uh, normally he's a lot bigger. So for this fight, there's something cool you can do, which I may or may not be able to do. Um, we're going to see. So let's step through and get the fight going with the Iron Gull. Now, right out the gate, he's going to throw this Wind Surge at you. Um, that's his projectile attack. But once you get close to him, he's not going to do that anymore. So let's sort of lower him closer. Um, Tarkus, by the way, uh, fun fact, it is possible for Tarkus to solo this boss. Uh, yeah, now that he's this far in, I don't think it's going to work. But I will explain it in a second here. Oh, and you saw there too, he was raising his shield, but he took the direct hit. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. We might be able to. Oh, no. He got me. Uh, okay. That wasn't so bad. He can actually throw you off if um, you're angled bad. So be careful there. Oh, no. I, I think I'm dead. <laughs> I should have healed. Well, um, that happens. What can you do? Alright, let's uh, try that again. I will uh, meet you at the fog gate with Tarkus. And we're back. Uh, take two this time. We're just waiting for Tarkus to make his way here. He's uh, a little little slow. He's using all the heavy armor. Um, but I think... What are you looking at? Yeah, he's, he's looking to his left for some reason. Um, anyway, let's just not overanalyze. Let's uh, jump right into it. And let's actually take initiative this time. Um, yeah, if you run too fast, he will. His bolt will not hit the middle part. Alright, so let's uh, try to not get grabbed. I got a little excited there for. Let's see. Because he was actually angled exactly how we wanted him to be. Um, are you. Oh, duh. No, please don't throw me off. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what did we learn? We're gonna, we're gonna fall back and heal first. 
Oh, oh, okay, we might get it. So as you can see, once he takes a bunch of damage, he'll start shaking, and then... Ah, oh, dang, okay. Um, we're doing enough damage that we're probably going to kill him soon. But if you can get him to do that when he's close to the edge, he's actually going to fall off and... Oh, yeah. Um, nice job, Tarkus. Yeah, so if you got a heavy weapon and Tarkus is here, you're going to just cut through it real fast. Um, the Iron Golem sort of to get into game mechanics for a bit. He's an enemy with a lot of defense, which means um, if you're using sort of like a lighter weapon that can attack fast, but it does a low amount of damage, that's that's going to be hard to fight um, him because each attack is going to be weakened a lot, and then you end up doing like barely any damage for each attack. Whereas if you're using a big heavy weapon, even though you're doing less damage um, overall, maybe because like you're attacking slower. Each attack, each attack only gets lowered by less defense, so therefore um, you uh, you cut through them a lot faster. Um, which you know kind of makes sense, you know, bigger enemy, bigger weapons, you know. So, <laughs> but trust me, um, heavy enemies you want heavy weapons, small enemies you want smaller weapons, because obviously smaller enemies um, you might have a little tougher time actually hitting with your slow attacks. Um, but anyway, that's stating the obvious. Um, right here we have um, a mysterious glowing orb which is um, going to be our ticket to the next area. Um, but we're going to leave that on a cliffhanger. Uh, we're going to end it there, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Um, I don't have a ledge I can accidentally swipe off this time, so I'm going to just do three attacks for the sake of it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. See you next time.